Welcome to Dr. Samim Pedia YouTube channel. A preterm male infant born at 30 weeks gestation and weighing 1.4 kg via cesarean section without prior antenatal steroids initially cried at birth but soon showed signs of respiratory distress with grunting necessitating non-invasive ventilation support via a nasal mask. We performed chest radiography of this baby, which is suggestive of severe respiratory distress syndrome. So we are planning to administer exogenous surfactant. This is a list of commonly used surfactants. For this baby, I'm using a natural surfactant paractant alpha or CuroSurf 200 milligrams per kilogram or 2.5 milliliters per kilogram for early rescue surfactant therapy as oxygen requirement is 30% and MAP requirement is 6 millimeters of mercury. For LISA or less invasive surfactant administration, I am introducing 6 French orogastric tube into trachea up to a certain depth, which is measured by 7 centimeters plus body weight with the help of direct laryngoscopy. This flowchart showing when to administer prophylactic and early rescue surfactant in newborn with RDS. After surfactant administration via LISA, we put the baby again in non-invasive ventilation. But this infant still have audible grunting, so I am intubating this baby. After fixing the endotracheal tube, we have connected the baby with BabyLog 8000 ventilator in SIPPV plus VG mode. Then we are confirming the position of ET tube with the help of chest radiography. Now I am doing intravenous cannulation with 26 gauge cannula for administration of intravenous fluid and drugs and for doing blood gas analysis. Now we are fixing the intravenous cannula with transparent Tegaderm skin protective adhesive. Now I am doing blood gas analysis in rapid point device to see pH, PCO2, base deficit, hematocrit and electrolytes.